So unfortunately, we're going to have to ask you to leave. Whoa, that escalated really fast because I'm a Muslim? Because he's black? You're asking me to leave? Like, she thought we were about to rob the store. Honest. Well, like, I'm not even... There's a white family ahead of me. A white family ahead of me. All up in the store. And we keep spending money in these places. Why is it that we could go to Starbucks, someone could write ISIS on his sister's cup, and we still gonna go over there, sell out, to buy some strawberry aside, some, some frappuccinos. I am, me too! Is this who you're training, Louis Vuitton? This is where I'm coming at you, Louis Vuitton. Is this how you handle your stores in Las Vegas, Louis Vuitton? Do you see this? Or am I, is it, am I? SQ, you're blowing it out of proportion. That's what's happening. You know how I felt? You know how I felt? I'm blowing it out of proportion. You know how I felt? Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamualaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and <laughs> oh, oh, oh. that you spend some of your time here with me today in this new setting. It is all true. What you hear is correct. The title is correct. I am suing. Louis Vuitton, that is a, that's a very true thing to do. How to sue people? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to Google it. But we're going to figure it out together. I'm going to sue Louis Vuitton. And here's why, okay? If you've been following me on Instagram, you know what happened. I got kicked out of Louis Vuitton for playing up looking like I don't belong there. Straight up. And it's not just about being a Muslim. It looked like I was just broke. Because of that, because of how I'm dressed... They assumed something about me. They assumed, they profiled me. We're going to talk more about that in this video. As you can see, I am back home. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, I am back home. I don't care how many amenities that place had. It had like a beautiful you know, bathroom and, and pool. There's nothing like home, man. There's nothing like these kids eating strawberries back there. There's nothing like that. You know what I mean? It makes no sense. What's so beautiful? Um, the um, the She's in the vlog. It's no cuts. No cuts, meaning whatever happens, happens. So here's what happens. Girls, remember something. Here's the rule. If daddy's recording, you can't speak over me. You understand? You could be in it, but that's it. Okay? I love you. The other one is over here too. She's, she's down there. MashaAllah. This is, this is life. This is, these are the uncut videos you want. This is what you're going to see. This is behind the scenes to make it happen. I'm just incorporating it all together. Hey, what did we say? What did I say? You can't speak. Okay, I I'm fasting, Mary John. I can't eat that. And today's the day of Arafat. We're gonna have a great time. Okay, so hear, hear, hear me out what happened. Okay, so I'm going to the Louis Vuitton store to buy myself a gift. SQ, there's people in the world who need money, SQ. Yemen is starving, SQ. Syria, people care. Okay, you're spending on yourself. Yeah, I am spending on myself. I deserve it. You don't think I give to Yemen already? You don't think I helped the Ummah already? You don't think I give to my local masjid already? This is a gift to myself. I just signed the deal that I get paid for my episodes of working on a show. I wanted to give myself a little gift. Is that wrong? If it's wrong, it's cool. I think it's right, so it's not a problem. Okay. So I'm, I have the intention to go there to buy a little wallet for myself with a nice little SQ on it. You know, just as a reminder to me, you know, for the hard work, it all pays off, mashallah. Um, so I get to the Louis Vuitton store. Okay. Now, I want you to remember something. This is SQ the YouTuber. Not SQ the school teacher. This is SQ the YouTuber. There's different faces of me. This is SQ the YouTuber. I am vlogging. But let me be clear with how I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging in the most and the least invasive way possible. I don't have that Casey Nice that type of and walking around. That's not the bro, I'm on my on my iPhone. I'm on my phone recording this. 4K. But just on my phone, my old hand. I am the tripod. I am the tripod, bro. I don't have all that invasive stuff that, sir, you can't record in here. Let me get to it. I have my thing. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging my experience, my, my, my trip uh, on, on the, to the Louis Vuitton store and just buying that and all that sort of stuff to inspire you guys, man. Now, hey, you can have Louis Vuitton. Major, do me a favor. Can you go, please? Thank you. To inspire you guys. To, Yo, you can do it. You can do it. You can buy yourself nice things. You could be someone successful. I would hope to inspire you all, not just for the Dean purposes, but for success. I'm 31 years old, 31 years old. This is not to brag or anything. Every gift comes from Allah. But if I can do it coming from the worst of situations, worst of circumstances, that means you can do it. 
How much time do we have? Three minutes in? MashaAllah. Let's go. This is going to be a good video, inshaAllah. So I'm getting to the line. I get to the line. Now, obviously, it's COVID. It's COVID. Okay? There is social distancing. I respect that and know that. But I want to let you know something. And this is not just me being insecure. This is not me projecting. This is facts. I have it all on camera. There's a white family ahead of me. A white family ahead of me. All up in the store. All up in the right line that we all are supposed to be in. Ladies instructing them about, hey, you guys have to stay close to each other. Don't touch anything or whatever they were saying. You know, stay close to each other. You're going to be assisted a personal shopper. Anyone who is in these stores like Louis Vuitton and Gucci, they assign you a... I don't know about Gucci. I don't really go to Gucci, right? But they assign you a personal shopper. They do. Someone there who's there at your beck and call. Why? Because they get a commission. Remember this. This is important. Okay. So uh, it's on my, they go in, the white family goes in, like five of them dudes, five of them, they go in. I crack a joke, I'm like, ma'am, I heard everything that you had to say, I'm ready. Not to go in, I'm ready. Okay, sir, you're going to have to wait in the front of the line. I know I'm in the front of the line. Sir, you're going to have to wait on this side of the line. Mind you, this is like, you ever been to the banks and they have those like little like elastic-y like black tape things, right? The ones that you can hook up over here, that's what they had. Everyone, the white family, was in that same spot. I just followed behind them, standing exactly where they were standing. Sir, you're going to have to stand to the side. Okay, no problem. I did it. Something felt wrong. Allah has put something in our hearts where when something is off, we feel it. I felt it. I'm like, here? No problem. So this is the tape. Imagine this is the end of the tape, right? This is the end of the tape. And everyone's supposed to be standing here, 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 here. So I came here, right? The white family went in. So I came here. Logically, the next step, right? So you're going to have to stand over here. Okay, maybe that's the protocol. Maybe that's some social distancing thing. Okay, cool. I'm standing exactly where they told me to stand. Exactly, mind you. Okay, cool. I'm standing there making my vlog. Not, nothing invasive. You'll see the video soon. You'll see the video soon. Making my vlog, whatever the case might be. And then a black guy comes in. A black guy. Another one person who they're profiling because they don't belong here either. Let me tell you why I don't belong there. I'm coming in there with some sunglasses on, some shorts. I have like my slides on or something. I don't even know what I'm wearing, right? I have a CVS bag. I have a CVS bag. They think because I have a CVS bag, that means I don't belong in their store. Because I have some glasses on, I look a little urban. The swagger is kind of urban. I don't belong in your store. That's stupid. Anyways, the black guy comes, right? My man Kuji, we became friends after this, right? But my man Kuji comes through the black guy, okay? Looking very similar to me, right? Has a hat on. I think he had a hat on. I can't remember. Maybe, I can't remember now. It's, it's been a long trip. Has his mask on. Has a CVS bag too. CVS bag. What do they tell him? Right? He's trying to stand exact. So, mind you, pay attention. Okay. This is the tape. This is where the white family was. I came to stand behind them, social distance away. It was my turn to come over here. They went in. My turn here. I got told you don't stand here, you stand here. I took it. I stood here. Now the black guy comes in and he's trying to stand exactly where I'm standing over there. And she said, sir, you have to go around the tape. You have to be over on the other side of the tape. Immediately, he didn't stay shut like I did when she told me to do that. I saw someone in front of me. He didn't. He saw where my positioning was, and she's trying to make a stand away from the position. Not like away as in distance, but as in positioning, away. He said immediately, why? He's standing right there. It's like she thought we were about to rob the store. Honest. Wallahi, I'm not even... She thought like we were about to rob the store. I'm just eight minutes. Bismillah, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is true. True. And this isn't about this. This is about judging people. That's what this is about. It's about judging people. You judge people based off of what's apparent. So many times we've said that. Oh, brother, brother, brother. We judge based off of what's apparent. 
Is that what Dawud Islam did? Huh? He judged off of what's apparent when the two angels came to him, they toppled over the gate? Huh? And one brother complained, saying that this brother of mine has 99 sheep or animals. I only have one that he's given to me, and he's trying to usurp that and take that away from me then too. Dawud heard what he had to say. He's like, I heard enough. And he passed his judgment without looking and listening to the other brother, no matter how guilty or not guilty he was, didn't even give him a fair trial. But Dawud some judged from what was apparent, huh? There's deeper things, guys, deeper things. I don't care how I look. You don't know what's in my pocket. Who the hell wants to come to Louis Vuitton during COVID? People have lost their jobs. If someone's coming to your stores for a reason, you should be grateful that someone's coming to your store, Louis Vuitton. And we keep spending money in these places. Why is it that we could go to Starbucks, someone could write ISIS on his sister's cup, and we still gonna go over there, sell out to buy some strawberry aside, some, some frappuccinos. I am, me too. My wife loves strawberry aside, I buy it from all the time. Even though they disrespected our sister, why? The Muslim body is one body, when one hurts, we all hurt. Oh, 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 but we're not gonna talk about voting. Let's not talk about voting. Oh, it's the kufar land. It's the kufar. It's not sharia here. We can't vote. Oh, voting haram, brother. Oh, haram. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Okay. Can you vote with your dollar? Can you vote with your money? You could. But you're choosing not to. Don't think because you're not voting physically on a little parchi, a little ballot, that you're not voting. You're voting with your decisions every single day. Damn, that got deep. You're voting every single day with your decisions. That company that you're supporting, but wait, wait, wait. Wait until Ramadan times, right? And you're going to get a list of all these Israeli date-owning things. Don't buy from Israeli date shops. True, why? Because they're Israeli? Because they're Israeli, that's why? They usurp the rights of Palestinians, so we have a softer heart for them. But a company like Starbucks could violate someone called them ISIS, and we're still going to buy a strawberry acai? Louis Vuitton could violate a Muslim, profile me, then kick me out the store? I didn't get to that part yet? And we're still going to be shopping from there? This is not me trying to say, boycott Louis Vuitton. I don't have an agenda. That's not my agenda. My agenda is to get justice. Because if I'm getting profiled like this, someone who's so articulately spoken and can just convey a message, imagine how many other people they're doing this to. How many other people they're going to do this? God honest truth. I'm fasting right now. It's the day of Arafah. God honest truth, I'm not saying Louis Vuitton is racist. I have never been treated like that by Louis Vuitton in New York City. On Fifth Avenue, never been treated like that. In Blooming, there's Louis Vuitton, never been treated like that. In the Westchester Louis Vuitton at the Galleria Mall, never been treated like that. They were kind of air with me, but they were still very respectful. Assign an assistant shopper to you, and they're going to help you out with whatever that you need. Okay, finally. I warned them. I said, listen, ma'am, listen. Then I stepped up and I said, listen, now she's asking me to move to the other side of the line too. And I'm like, ma'am, hang on a second, ma'am. Racial tensions are high. I'm telling you, ma'am, I saw you with my own. I said this on camera. I have it. I have the footage. We've seen the footage. We've seen the evidence. I have the footage. I said, ma'am, the white people that were in front of me, you didn't make them jump through these hoops. You're making me a Muslim dude, and I have my black power shirt on. You're making me a Muslim dude, a colored person who doesn't look like they belong here, and a black guy move across the lines. That's very dangerous. Be careful. Be careful. Now, any smart person that's there, think about it. Smart, intelligent. Hey, how do I change this customer's perception? That's if you care. How do I change this perception, person's uh, customer's perception and give them the ultimate experience? Like, you know what, sir? I think we stopped all, we, we started, no correction! No correction! No, sir, sir, I, 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 I'm sorry, sir, you, I think you misunderstood me, sir. Not at all, this is just the protocol for COVID. No correction! Think what you want, poor person! Think what you want, black guy, brown guy, Muslim, think what you want, I don't give a damn! No, like... Where's, this, where's the awareness? Where's the self-awareness? 
Where's the human resources? Where's, where's, your, where, where's your emotional intelligence? Sir, I think we're stepping off to a wrong foot. That's definitely not the case. That's definitely not the case. We don't, there's nothing great. I said those words to her about race, about discrimination, about ignorance. No clarification. She just let it be because they don't give a damn. Is this who you're training Louis Vuitton? This is where I'm coming at you, Louis Vuitton. Is this how you handle your stores in Las Vegas, Louis Vuitton? No qualms, no like, sir, let me fix it. So now me and the dude are talking and we have a lot in common. And you'll learn about that later on. But me and him, I was supposed to uh, interview Nate Robinson for my show and he's Nate Robinson's blood cousin, right? That, that's like, we, we connected then and there. And he, man pulls out, man pulls out bands of money, bands. He's ready to shop. So if there was any doubt, and I have that on camera too. If there was on any doubt that we heard of window shop steal, Profile, this man has money in his pocket. He's wearing a $25,000 chain around his neck. And he's saying these things. So it's not like, how do we? Yeah. He's saying it. So I, I tell her, now there's another person, a white family behind us now. I tell her, man, she's telling me to come inside. I said, ma'am, I'm going to wait for my brother over here. We're going in together. She was confused. I said, that's my brother. We're going to go in together. I said, if you want, you can let the white family go in, but we're going to go together. Cool. We finally get in. Where's my assistant shopper? Huh? Hey, my name is such and such. I'm going to be your assistant today. If you've been to Louis Vuitton, you know how that head goes, right? Not one person. Why? Why? Because we looked urban because I had a CVS bag. I'm explaining I am ready to shop in here. My friend is ready to shop in here. Hold my bags. Assistant shopper, someone. Hold my bags. So I say this, I have the CVS bag. I don't want to hold it anymore. I'm in Louis Vuitton. I said, ma'am, is there any way that we could put our bags? You know what she told me? Uh, 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 stuttering. Uh, 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 sir, uh, uh, sir, um, uh, if you put these bags down somewhere, someone could steal them. Pause and time out. Someone is going to steal a Las Vegas mug from a CVS bag in Louis Vuitton when there's a 55 keep all bag that's $2,500? You're gonna steal a Las Vegas mug that I'm getting from my mom? Do you see this? Or am I, is it, am I? That's cute, you're blowing it out of proportion. That's what's happening. You know how I felt? You know how I felt? I'm blowing it out of proportion. You know how I felt? Well, like now I know how people who get through sexually assault, how they feel. Just a tad. I'll never experience that, but just a tad. I'm thinking in my head, yo, this is a real case. Fast forward right after. This is a real case. I'm a car care Florida against Muslims. They just did. I know what I felt. I know what happened to me. Call care Florida. No disrespect to care. No disrespect to care. Some questions. Yeah, they did ask you to stop the filming. They did ask you to do that. So not really. I can see the footage to do that sort of stuff. <sighs> Someone comes and says, I got raped. I got sexually assaulted. Well, you were wearing a very tight and short dress. So technically, it's like you were asking for it, wasn't it? Nope. Nope. I don't care what happens, man. This is, this is going down. I'm just telling you my story. You'd be the judge. You'd be the judge. There's two sides to the story, right? Three, actually. What I'm saying, what my camera's recorded, and whatever nonsense they tell you. I have two testaments from me on camera and this story versus whatever they're going to say. Whatever they're going to say. So we get in the Louis Vuitton store. I'm like, yo, someone hold my bags, whatever. My guy friend, my, my, my friend Kuji, the black guy I was telling you about, he straight up goes in there, he said, I want that sweater that's on the mannequin. Chop, chop! Chop, chop! Give me, give me the mannequin! Everyone's standing around there. It's like they knew they were going to kick us out the whole time. It's like they knew we don't belong there the whole time. You guys don't understand what that feels like. You guys don't understand what that's feeling like. And... Muslims and minorities have gotten abused and violated and, and profiled for so long that we begin to think it's normal. It's not normal or okay. Hey, sweetheart, please stop doing that. Hey, sweetheart, don't do that. It's too loud. It's too loud. 
that we begin to feel like it's normal. My children are not going to think it's normal. I'm going to teach them that if someone tries to violate you or look at you down because you have a hijab on, you gotta, you got to check them then and there. Then and there, check them. Educate them then and there. My children are going to be raised very nicely. Inshallah. Educated. I'm educated. How dare you, Louis Vuitton in Las Vegas? How dare you? So I finally find a place. Mind you, mind you, we can be obnoxious. We can be. Uh, on the, we can be obnoxious, but this is our personality. I'm from New York. He's from Seattle. We're urban. We're a little loud. We're a little loud. But can I ask you this? Right? If there was someone who was queer, extremely flamboyant, very feminine, and they were loud, would Louis Vuitton have kicked them out on the basis of they were being too loud? Or was that their personality? Why can't this be my personality? Right? Why can't you cater to my personality? We'll leave that aside. Anyways, I'm vlogging. I get to a part where I see like there's a little table, a little sign, look, I put my bag down there. I told Kuji the Mac, come down there, put your bag too. We're going to go shopping. A not my personal shopper, a salesperson, random, comes to me and says, sir, you're not allowed to film in here. Hey, 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 I do this all the time. I'm used to it. No problem. I'll, I'll put that on the camera. But before I put that on the camera, can I just ask you one question? Okay. This is all on camera. I've seen on YouTube... White YouTubers, I'll, I'll link the video here, I'll show you a clip right now. White YouTubers in Louis Vuitton, not with a camera phone, vlogging, with a real damn DSLR, with a camera person vlogging. And that assistant shopper, personal shopper is just all up on their backsides. Why? Because they're about to spend about $10,000 in there. $10,000 in there, and that assistant shopper's like, yo, I don't give a damn, record all you want. I need my money. Feel me? Jeez, come on now. That personal shopper was letting them record. Letting them. And they even stayed in the YouTube video that they're allowing us to film. Not at the end of the video. They made it seem in the beginning of the video, but the book bags were already out. I could tell they recorded that scene at the end of the video just to show that we asked permission. We weren't sneaking around in here. The fact that Louis Vuitton gave permission to someone shows that it is upon your discretion. I don't need to know the law to make logic. It's upon your discretion. So I asked the person stating my case. I said, look, it clearly shows, this video clearly shows that it is upon your discretion. So I want to ask you, if I'm in here about to spend $30,000 like that, that guy is, my black friend, Kuji the Mac. I'm calling him the black friend. He's my guy, Kuji, you know what I mean? But that's how you know him because that's how I introduce him to the story, right? If my man is about to spend 30 racks in here, you're not going to allow me to record a shopping spree for myself? For my YouTube channel, plus I'm a YouTuber, I'm working. I'm working. This is, I'm on the job. If I was on a Zoom call, you would have stopped me. It's not invading anyone's privacy, I'll blur everyone out. But there was a problem. I was profiled and he was profiled from the line, from the beginning. And this is before they even saw I had a camera. This is even before that, okay? So we get in there. And I'm just like, sir, let me go shopping. Let me go have some fun. I'm not harming anyone. I'm recording this vlog for me, for my viewers. That's it. Simple. Made it clear. Leave me alone. Let me go shopping. Cool. Get out that situation. My man, Kuji the Mac, still looking for a personal shopper. He's walking back and forth, up and down the Louis Vuitton store. No personal shopper yet. No. Cool. And he's asking for help. Someone help me. Anyone's been to the Louis Vuitton store. Is that ever allowed? There would be someone after you. So let me take your bag. You want something to drink? This man is walking around with wads of money. I have it on camera. Wads of money. 
If I'm a sales associate, if I'm a personal shopper, I'm like, yo, that needs to be in my pocket. What do you want, sir? You touch it, you buy it. Let's go. You, he, this is what he's saying the whole time. If I'm touching it, I'm buying it. What more sign do you need that a person's there to spend some money? Hard-earned money in this climate? And you're trying to refute. Okay. Anyways. They let us be. They let me be. How long is it? 23 minutes? 24 minutes now? Okay, bismillah. I hope you guys are enjoying this, man. This is a different type of video. This video is going to go viral, inshallah. This video is going to go viral. Not this one, the video of me actually being in there. This is the explanation of things. And who made me, and honestly, after the care phone call, I felt like crap. I'm like, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just blowing this out of proportion. That's how a sexually assault victim would feel, right? Maybe, maybe I did give him consent. Maybe, maybe I did want it. Until someone else hears this story, and they're like, no, 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 no. That was wrong. That seems off. And that comes from my sister on Instagram, who her and her family shops at Louis Vuitton. And they, when they heard just a snip of it, they said, Brother SQ, that's not okay. Send me the video. We're going to shoot it over straight to our personal assistant, our shopper. In our store, Louis Vuitton, we're going to sort this out. That is not okay. Thank you. Thank you for someone believing me. Jeez, man. People, oh man, may Allah bless them and guide them and accept from them, mashallah. Man, this is a beautiful month of Arafah. I make a dua for all you guys. The issue is judging, guys. We don't judge from just this. Brother, you don't do. So many people in the comment section because alhamdulillah, my channel is being a little more promoted by YouTube these days. And you'll get those random things down there. And I know, family, it infuriates you. Like this, hey, brother, why do you have tattoo? I stuff for don't you know tattoo is haram? And you guys get so upset and you get in the... Pause, pause a second. Do you not understand that my video just, your brother's video, our family's video just got recommended to them in the YouTube recommended section. They don't know who I am. So they're curious. So instead of like saying, oh, it's from his passage, I just say, hey, welcome to the channel. Tell them, hey, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys enjoy. That's it. You must be new. That's what you're asking. They're new. Assume the best in people, inshallah. Don't judge. Don't judge them. And I'm not judging them either. Believe me. They're ignorant because that's what they're brought upon. I don't know. Anyways, I continue all this sort of stuff. He's going shopping. I come back to my thing to have a sip of water. I ask them. I need some water. It's 104 degrees in Las Vegas. My, my blood pressure has risen now. I need some water. No water for me. No water for you, brown guy. And I made it clear to them. I said, listen to me. I feel like I'm harassed. And my friend is being harassed all the way from the line. I have this on tape. I have it on camera. Because I'm a Muslim, I have a black power shirt, and he's black. I said, we're being harassed right now. That needs to stop ASAP. And that's when it stopped. But a few moments later, I'm sitting there asking for water. And a black so store representative, I don't know if he's the manager, but he just seemed like a black guy, didn't introduce himself. Hey, sir, my name is such and such. I'm the manager of Louis Vuitton here in Las Vegas. You know what he says? Sir, unfortunately, we're going to have to ask you to leave. Whoa, that escalated really fast because I'm a Muslim? Because he's black? You're asking me to leave? Where is the emotional intelligence? Hi, sir. My name is da 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 da. I'm the store manager here at Louis Vuitton. What's going on? Let's have a seat, sir. Let, can we get you some water? But I'm a piece of trash in their eyes. My black friend, he's a piece of trash in their eyes. And this, this black person is also selling out. You're not white, my G. You're not white. No matter how whitewashed you want to act, no matter how whitewashed you want to act, forgive me for coming off this way. Forgive me. Forgive me. But this is how black people feel when another black person or colored person is discriminating and helping the system instead of fighting for their own right. They look like Uncle Tom's. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Okay? Please, and I'm not disrespecting him. I'm just saying, you know, that's what they come off as. And I'm just like, sir, you don't know the situation. You're coming from the outside party. This is not right. I'm trying to explain my situation, so you need to leave. So what did I do? I got up and left. I wasn't going to start trouble over there because that wasn't my goal. My goal was to buy a damn wallet to reward myself, man. For working hard, for closing a contract and signing a deal to a, a major network for a TV show. Come on, can I not celebrate? But because I'm Muslim, because I'm with a black eye, because I look colored, because I have a CVS bag, because I'm wearing some shorts, not the best shoes, because I don't look like I belong in Louis Vuitton, you want to kick me out? Come on, come on, give me a chance. 
Give me a chance. Doesn't introduce himself like, hey, sir, I'm the manager in the store. What's going on? What's happening? I'm, I'm hearing some commotion. I want to hear your side of the story. Whatever happened to the customer's always right. You don't believe that we were going to spend money? My man is walking out with a stack of money in his hand. A stack. I have it on camera. You don't know what plastic is in my car and what it can afford. So instead of you dealing with this for some human resources, human relations, intelligence, emotional intelligence, sir, just have a seat. Hey, someone get him a water. Sir, have a seat. What's going on? Okay, sir, uh, totally. Listen, I just want to be clear with you right now. There is no race or religion, anything at all. We respect every single person here in Louis Vuitton. Okay? I think it's just a clear misunderstanding. I think that the people are having an issue because you're recording. Unfortunately, sir, the store policy is that we don't record. I understand you're saying that you saw someone in a YouTube video. That wasn't allowed over there. I can't allow that over here because corporate's going to be very upset at me or whatever the case might be. So please, sir, if possible, please turn this off right now so we can move forward and we can get you what you like. What is it that... Look at the emotional intelligence that I just showed. On the spot, I made the damn thing up. And this person who gets paid by Louis Vuitton couldn't do that to me? Couldn't do that? So he kicks me out instead? Sir, we're going to have to ask you to leave. Would you ever send that to a white person? We all know the answer. Our silence is enough. You would never have said that to a Sorry, my camera stopped for 30 minutes. This is a long video. I know. I know. You probably clicked out of it, and alhamdulillah, if you did. So anyways, we went to security desk, and... And nothing. They didn't. They, no one took it seriously. No one took it seriously at all. And this video is not about you taking me seriously, my friends. It is not. It's about me getting the story out there to let you know that we shouldn't be supporting places that discriminate against each other. That they do. And not Muslim discrimination, human discrimination, minority discrimination. You know what I mean? We shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be supporting them. You know what I mean? Look at you. So many of y'all, oh, uh, LGBTQ rights, yeah! But y'all sold out to a chicken sandwich to Chick-fil-A? <laughs> Come on now. Hypocrisy. Oh, we support gay rights. Uh. We support LGBTQ movements. I'm with you guys. I'm fighting with you guys. Yet you sold out for a Chick-fil-A sandwich? Come on. I don't eat from Chick-fil-A. It's not Zabiha Halal. I don't eat from there. I'll probably get a milkshake from there, but I'm trying to watch my weight. You know what I mean? I'm going to be on TV. I got to be, you know, slim and trim. But look at y'all. Look at you guys out there, man. So, so much hypocrisy. And we as Muslims, okay, forget the voting, da, 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 but we can vote with our money, can't we? We can vote with our money, can't we? It's, just a, it's, it's, it's a choice that we all have to make, right? I appreciate you guys listening to this. This is definitely the longest video I've recorded in a one shot, no edit, no cut, straight to the face video. So happy to be home. Uh, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well too. If you've made it this far, gen genuinely, I don't think many will. But if you've made it this far, thank you so much for listening to me rant. And hopefully you got some entertainment and laughs out of this entire situation as well. If you're new to this channel and you made it to the end of this video by some miracle and you haven't subscribed, Keep it that way. Don't subscribe. YouTube is still going to recommend my, my, recommend my video to you because, oh, I have some on my lip. Because we've made it this far, so that means YouTube knows that you enjoyed the video. If you want to spend some more time with me, click any of these videos right here. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Until next time, I'm out.